Hello everyone, welcome to IPO Market Watch. My name is Mike and this is the channel that covers initial public offerings. So if you're new and you just discovered the channel, if you want to know about IPOs, then subscribe to this channel. Also, this channel is sponsored by Webull, which is a great app. You can buy IPOs on Webull before they go public, many IPOs, not all. They offer every week uh, certain IPOs and you can buy them before they go public. One, one thing you could have bought on Webull was eBet at six dollars and then it went public at 20 so you're already a winner all right so you use my link which is at the top of the description below sign up to webull deposit minimum of 100 and get up to four free stocks so this 10 dollars initial public offering is what we're going to talk about i like this ipo i think this is a buy personally speaking for me I, when i say it's a buy i say for me for me mike it is a buy for you guys i don't know i can't tell you that i will not tell anyone to buy something it is your money so check out this video do your own research after that and decide if you like this initial public offering so we're going to talk about ipower and he has filed to raise just 50 million dollars no more than that just 50 million bucks uh, in a u.s initial public offering we're also going to in this video we're also going to look at the underwriter later on towards the video so stick around watch the whole video because we're going to show you past ipos the underwriter was involved in so the firm sells a wide range of hydroponic and other uh, agricultural technology equipment in North America. IPower, IPW is the ticker symbol and it's going to go on May 7th, Friday public. So IPW, it has performed impressively through the 2020 pandemic period and it is profitable. Jeez, 10 bucks IPO and it's profitable. Rare thing. And has very strong industry growth dynamics in its favor. So IPower, online hydroponic equipment seller they have their own website but they also sell on amazon and various other places um ticket symbol like we said ipw it's going to offer five million shares all right five million shares nine to eleven dollars around there all right uh so the company offers its brands and partner brands through its website and also uh like we said in amazon and other places California based. It is, it is based in California. It was founded to build and market an e-commerce presence selling over 23,000 SKUs via its website as well as through third-party distribution. Management is headed by co-founder, chairman, CEO, and interim CF, CFO Chan Long Tan, who was previously a senior software engineer at various companies. So the company's primary offerings include the iPower and Simple Deluxe uh, private label products, HVAC exhaust blowers, CFM duct inline fans, trimming machines, pumps, hydroponic related items, etc. The firm primarily sells through its website, which is zenhydro.com. The company leases 72,000 square feet of warehouse space between two fulfillment centers outside of the Los Angeles area. Total revenue, all right, so the, for, the, for the year ended June 30th, 2019, the revenue was $22.8 million. Then, for the year ended June 30th, 2020, it was $39.9 million. That was a jump of 74.8% on revenue in one year within that 2009-2020 uh, year. And then just the six months ended December 31, 2020, it was $26.2 million. Still, rep that, that, that represents actually a 69% increase if you were to compare that with the six months of... Uh, um, or the first six months of 2020, right? So they're constantly increasing revenue, doing great, and they're profitable. Gross profit, and you can see here the gross profit. I can't read it all because if I read everything, the video will take too long, but you can pause the video if you want to see these numbers here. Let's look at gross margin, 2019, 34.48%, 2020, 37.88%. Six months ended December 31, 2020, 40.09% for the gross margin. Operating profit, you can see here, and... Uh, so as of December 31, 2020, iPower had $544,000 in cash and $15.9 million in total liabilities. Free cash flow during the 12 months and December 31, 2020 was negative $732,000. iPower intends to sell, like we said, 5 million shares at about $10 around there. Um, here's some information, guys. All right, so market capitalization at IPO will be $266 million. Enterprise value $215 million, price per sales 5.25, EV per revenue 4.26, earnings per share at 0.10, free uh, net free cash flow negative 732,000, float to outstanding shares ratio. All right, so the float to outstanding shares ratio 18.79%. All right, next. 
here are some stocks I'm going to show you that the underwriter and did I put the underwriter? I didn't tell you guys the underwriter, right? Yeah. All right. So I forgot. I'll leave it in the comment section, guys, the name of the underwriter. I'm sorry. I forgot to and I forget right now who it was, but I'll leave it in the comment section of the video. You'll see the underwriter who it is. I'll leave a, a comment. So here's the company that the underwriter did before. All right. The same underwriter. Frisia Incorporation, if I pronounce it right, PHR. It's a uh, max chart from 2019 going to 2021. So that turned out well, right? So that, you know, that turned out well. Not that the underwriter is solely responsible after the, the a stock goes public, how the stock performs, right? I just, but you can sometimes make a correlation. You can compare and kind of get an idea. There's some underwriters that always bring bad stocks, right? So Bab Babcock and Wilcox Enterprise Incorporation is another company that this underwriter did. This one just uh, sucked. UiPath, the UiPath, we talked about this. This is an amazing company and they had the same underwriter as iPower. So that's pretty cool. What about Cellos Corp? We covered this one too, great company. Here's its one year chart. This company also had the same underwriter. Coursera Incorporation, another great company. This one had the same underwriter. So you can see that this underwriter doesn't bring, you know, they, they, they tend to stick and bring great companies to the market. All right, valuation score, four out of five, guys, four out of five. This is a company that has, is in, the, is in, is in a hot industry. It's got a lot of things going for it. It has its own uh, uh, website they can sell through. They sell through various other third parties. Um, they're profitable. The revenue is growing. Um, just, I can't say, I, there's no way I can give it something lower, right? Now, if they screw up themselves later on, oh well. But anyways, so valuation score, please don't copy it. This is not a trading tool. It's just for entertainment purposes. And don't copy my opinions. My opinions are just for me. Please decide for yourselves. So I give it a four out of five. I think it is a buy, all right? And especially at such a low price, if it goes public at 10 bucks, it is definitely a buy for me, right, guys? I think it is a, a great IPO, great IPO. May 7th, Friday, it's going public. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And I wish you guys all the best.